good morning today we will see one more interesting judgment by supreme court under arbitration the facts of the case are very important so first we will see the facts ntpc and uh, spm two companies they entered into a contract as per the contract spm will furnish some bank guarantees to ntpc the project was completed to the satisfaction of ntpc ntpc before releasing the final payment uh, demanded a certificate from uh, spml no demand certificate to uh, give the final payment no demand certificate was also given by the spml ntpc settled the amount then uh, spml requested ntpc to release the bank guarantees ntpc refused ntpc said are uh, there are some uh, disputes with regard to the other projects which you are executing hence we will not release the bank guarantee this is what uh, ntpc said spml uh, requested several times then spml also got annoyed with uh, ntpc they also issued a letter uh, demanding 72 uh, 72 crores of rupees as a liability of ntpc to be paid by ntpc to spm uh, the first uh, ntpc uh, spm wrote a letter to ntpc to appoint an adjudicator ntpc remained si- silent so they filed a writ petition before the delhi high court for appointment of an arbitrator when the matter was pet- the delhi high court in that case in that writ petition said uh, to ntpc that you should not encash the bank guarantee they also said to uh, spml that you should keep the bank guarantee alive unfortunately spml did not keep the bank guarantee alive in the meantime what happened was both the parties sat together and they discussed to settle the dispute between them they entered into a settlement agreement after the settlement agreement they went to high court and they filed the uh, settlement agreement before the high court high court accepting that settlement uh, they dismissed the writ petition after um, the bank guarantees were released by the uh, ntpc the settlement agreement as per the settle, uh, settlement agreement they have uh, they withdrew their writ petition after this spml again issued a notice to ntpc for appointment of arbitrator it was not appointed so they filed a 116 application before high court for appointment of arbitrator uh, the two contentions were raised by the ntpc before the delhi high court they said uh, first of all the procedure contemplated under the contract has not been followed that is no adjudicator has been appointed before the dispute is referred to arbitration second because of the settle agreement settlement agreement nothing survives so this uh, this uh, application for appointment of arbitrator should not be entertained the first contention was rejected by the delhi high court saying that no no at that time itself some time back uh, we know that uh, delhi high court they approached uh, earlier at that time itself they are they requested a ntpc to appoint the arbitrator you did not appoint an arbitrator i mean adjudicator hence uh, uh, that contention uh, is will not survive the second uh, thing which uh, delhi high court said was the settlement agreement you know i agree settlement agreement has been entered but uh, that does not mean that contract is discharged so they went ahead and appointed arbitrator this was challenged before the supreme court supreme court agreed the there is limited scope for the appointment of arbitrator because the court has to examine whether there is an arbitration clause or not under the arbitration uh, agreement and once uh, the court finds that there is an arbitration agreement court has to appoint an arbitrator for the disputes but before that they have to 
conduct two inquiries. The two inquiries are one. One is arbitration agreement exists. And there is a privity of contract between the parties. Second is the Supreme Court said that the disputes are arbitrable or non-arbitrable. This also is a condition before appointing an arbitrator. These two things must be seen by the court, any court, before appointing an arbitrator. In this case, Supreme Court said that in the settle, nothing survives because in, this, in the writ petition filed by SPML, first time when they filed the writ petition, they did not raise that anything. They did not, there, is, there was not even a whisper about the 72 crores liability to be given by NTPC. They only requested uh, High Court to release the bank guarantee. That was the writ petition filed for, for, the, for the first time. First writ petition, they only asked for release of bank guarantee. Nothing else. Then the SPML said, no, no, no. What happened was it was because of uh, coercion, duress, financial stress was there. That is why we agreed for a settlement agreement. Otherwise, we would not have agreed. Uh, they said that. Supreme Court did not agree on that because Supreme Court said in that uh, repetition, there were four things Supreme Court noted in that settlement agreement. One is the settlement agreement said bank guarantees must be released by NTPC. What? The settlement agreement said that SPML will not raise any dispute with regard to the contract in any forum, whether arbitration or otherwise. They will not raise any dispute. Two. Three. Uh, I already told you that the Delhi High Court, while directing SPML, they asked the SPML to keep the bank guarantees alive, which they did not do. So, no contempt petition should be filed by the NTPC before the High Court. Three. And four, they agreed to withdraw the writ petition. So, these four were entered in the settlement agreement. So, Supreme Court said, at that time, you had the protection of Delhi High Court. So, there is no question of coercion or some force uh, uh, which uh, uh, made you to enter into the settlement agreement. You should have sent in the court. So, that did not, uh, the Supreme Court did not agree. Fine. Uh, one more thing is, they failed to produce any evidence, any evidence by way of document to prove that there was coercion. So, in such a circumstances, Supreme Court said, uh, the appointment of arbitrator by the Delhi High Court is incorrect. And hence, uh, the uh, case was uh, allowed, NTPC's case was allowed. Uh, the most important fact is, Two inquiries have to be conducted. The Supreme Court said two inquiries have to be conducted by the courts. One is whether the arbitration agreement exists and there is a privity of contract between the parties or not. Second is whether the disputes are arbitrable or non-arbitrable. These two things must be clearly seen by the High Court or any other court before appointing an arbitrator. Uh, this, is, this I thought is an interesting judgment. I wanted to share with you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.